What is up, car addicts? Welcome back to the series where I build popular movie slash TV show vehicles using cars in GTA Online. Remember to let me know down below in the comments what movie slash TV show car you want to see me customize next, and I'll display the most liked vehicle suggestion comment in the next build video. Now again guys, remember that I do have a separate series for the Fast and Furious cars, so again, this movie slash TV show series is for the other popular movie vehicles. So in today's video, we're going to be building the 1963 Aston Martin DB5 from the James Bond movie franchise. This car made its first appearance in Goldfinger from 1964 and was subsequently shown later in James Bond films as well like Thunderball, GoldenEye, Tomorrow Never Dies, Casino Royale, Skyfall, Spectre, and No Time to Die as well. It's the most iconic Bond car from the franchise, and that's why it keeps making its return in the newer films. Now the vehicle we're going to be using for this build is obviously the Dubachi JB700W, which is available from the Warstock website for just under $1.5 million. Or alternatively, if you want something a lot cheaper, you can also use the regular JB700 from the Legendary Motorsport website for only $350,000. However, the guns on that one don't work and it doesn't have any of the secondary mine weapon upgrades like the W has. So pretty much the only difference is there because they're also identical in terms of performance and armor and window resistance. So yeah, mainly just the weapons actually working and you're paying over a million dollars more for it. But anyways, let's go ahead and start the build for James Bond's legendary Aston Martin DB5. Alright, Bond DB5, let's do it. Alright, so as usual, for these builds, I always do a full, you know, armor and max performance mod, so we'll do that. Plus, it's a James Bond card, should have full armor, right? Brakes, engine, um, lights, and leave stock, even though I think it would be better to maybe go to the arena or the LS Carmi to throw some, like, yellow or white lights on there. Um, plate. Now, the one from the real movie was a BMT 216A. That was the actual plate with a black sort of background with white font. Um, obviously that was a British plate. We, we have California style plates in GTA Online, but um, I guess the closest would be a black background. Um, and then if you want to get that custom plate, even though you know we still don't have the plate website from Rockstar as of yet at the time of this recording, so um, I'm just going to keep my, my Aston plate on there which I have here so we'll just keep that font there why not um, in terms of color um, you want to go to metallic and then you want to go to uh, rolled steel this to me is going to be the closest you can also go black steel or black um, or sorry dark steel or black steel um, but to me those are just a bit too dark the car was more of a, a silver but more on the gray side um, stone silver also works well um, but honestly I think I think the rolled steel is the way to go so rolled steel with the ice white pearl, and to me, I mean, I think it just looks perfect. I think this is the right color, so we'll do that. Um, continuing to secondary weapons, so this is exclusive to the JB700W. Um, you can do the spikes, or you can do the oil slick. Now, in the movie, they did use spikes, and they did have oil slick as well, um, so pretty accurate there, but you can only choose one. Now, in GTA Online, you know, most people use bulletproof tires, so I think the spikes is a bit useless. No However, in missions, and even though you, I don't think you can use this car in missions, but um, when cops are chasing you and in free mode missions, <laughs> I guess the spikes can be useful for AI cars, but in, in terms of like GTA Online players, I think the oil slick is going to be the way to go, so we'll do that. Almost as good as you. Uh, suspension, if you want to lower it. Uh, you can go quite low on this car. Uh, to me, I think the most accurate is going to be the first option here. So we'll do that. Transmission. Um, the car wasn't turbocharged in real life, so we'll skip that. Um, weapons. So here you have the mounted machine guns, and then stock is just a cover for them. Now, the regular JB700, it looks exactly like this with the guns. However, those guns are not usable. They're just there for show. Um, but on the JB700... They do actually work, but you have to pay even more money for them because it comes without it, which is really weird. Now, personally, I would have preferred if this car would have had those covers all the time, like when it's parked or something. And then when you bring up the guns, the little guns kind of like retract up from the fenders. That would have been 
so so cool but uh rockstar was kind of lazy here and they force you to pick one or the other which is kind of annoying but um, i want to demonstrate the guns here in this video so i guess we'll do that wheels so the most accurate wheels to the real car are actually going to be the stock wheels they're literally perfect the size the tire profile everything um now you could go to lowrider um go to chrome and then throw the uh I believe it's the wired these will these are almost the same as to the real ones but these are just too big the stocks are smaller as you can see and to me I think it's the most accurate so Making we'll keep that um, oh also if you want to do bulletproof tires you can so we'll do that too uh, windows the car didn't have any tints so keep that stock and that's all the options there unfortunately this car doesn't really have any like customization for the most part other than the weapons that's pretty much it it's like the standard jb 700w which was like 300 350,000 i believe was the price so yeah um anyways exit to ground you don't really need to buy the w variant um you know but you're better off just buying the regular one if you're not going to really drive it around that much and you're just going to have it for show but here it is i think it looks fantastic super super nice sounds pretty good too first person unfortunately they just copied and pasted the typical like muscle car interior uh, just is what it is and then they put a Dubachi logo on the center of the steering wheel there um, but um, all right floor it here and like I said earlier this car is like around um, mid pack in terms of performance well, I didn't talk about that earlier that I know so this car is in uh, mid pack in terms of performance so um, and it's pretty much identical to the uh, regular JB700 in terms of performance, so there's no benefit there. But, um, alright, let's demonstrate those machine guns really quick. So, boom, you can see a little dot there, very, very cool. A um, little sight, and then, of course, you can shoot at vehicles, which is kind of cool. And of course it's unlimited ammo, so you can just sit here all day just holding this button and <laughs> fire. <laughs> very, very cool. Got a pretty good fire rate too. Now the one in story mode, the fire rate was a lot slower. It was not like this. So this is a bit of an upgrade compared to the one from story mode. Pull over here. Oh, we got cops on us. There we go, losing them. And then of course, to do, to deploy your secondary weapons, if you chose oil slick or spikes, you press right on the D-pad and boom. So it deploys, it's not anything special, it deploys the exact same, oh, the AI deployed it. The exact same mine as the arena cars. So boom, I have no control now. It's like you're driving on ice. Oh my gosh, okay, let's get rid of those cops really quick. There we go. Oh my god, come on, game. <laughs> the cop hit me. Oh my god, I knew that was going to happen. Alright, Lester. How can I be of service? Thank you, Lester. No problem. I'll get him off your back. Oh my god. Alright, no more shooting with the guns. <laughs> uh, oh, even though we should look in first person. There you go. That's as much as I'm going to do. That's pretty. Well, that's kind of cool in first person too. Wow, that is pretty sick. All right, let's um, let's pull over and open all the doors and stuff. Let's go here to the customs. All right. Wow, this thing's a little beat up, isn't it? Maybe we should repair it. <laughs> let's repair it while we're here. One hundred seventy-five dollars to repair that. The only thing that's not overinflated in GTA is. <laughs> the price to repair vehicles very very cheap okay except for Benny's Benny's is kind of expensive but normal customs very cheap our right, vehicle doors let's go all here see everything opens up now in real life this car had a four liter six cylinder a flat six um, with 300 horsepower and GTA they gave it a v12 engine model for some reason um, and then here's the interior we really talked about at least it has the manual there like the real car so that's kind of cool the trunk opens very nice now in story mode um, there was a mission uh, where um, you stole this car from the movie studio and then there was a, a girl in the passenger seat and then as you're driving there 
uh, uh, Franklin um, activates the ejector seat, or I think the game just does it automatically. And this entire roof, you can see the cutout here for it, it just pops off and the girl just shows animation of her flying out, which is really, really funny. Um, I mean, that that's so cool. But in GTA Online, you, you're stuck with the roof on, you can't take it off, um, and there's no ejector seat, nothing like that, unfortunately. Would have been cool if they would have integrated s some way to do that. Maybe reuse the one from the aircrafts, like the like the jets. Maybe they could have done something like that for like the passenger seat, and then you go to the interaction menu, and maybe you press. Um, let me hop in here. Go to the interaction menu, and then you press like empty personal vehicle. This one right here. Make all the players leave your vehicle, and then boom, like they they shoot out. That would have been hilarious. Um, and then. Uh, in story mode, also, obviously, the guns work, whereas on the regular JB700, they don't. Um, in GTA Online, they do if you buy the W variant. And the texture quality on these guns, I mean, they just copied it over from the regular JB700. They didn't really put any effort to it visually, so that kind of sucks. Um, and then in the one in story mode, it had the little spikes that kind of pop out, so that's cool. Now, in, in the real car, it had bullet-resistant uh, glass. Um, but this car does not. See, the bullet just goes straight through with normal rounds there. Um, windshield and all. Oops, there we go. Windshield and all just goes right through. And also on the real car, um, this cutout right here. So Rockstar made the cutout, which is a nice reference. So this would, this part here would raise, and it was a, uh, like a bulletproof shield. So that's kind of cool. Um, and then obviously like the smoke, you have a little smoke screen and all that. I love all those little gadgets. Um, I wish they would have maybe incorporated more into this car, other than just making the story mode guns work with a slightly better fire rate, and then the mines from the arena. I mean, it was very, very low effort, if you ask me. At least they went back and did it, but I mean, kind of low effort. I would have liked to have seen more. Uh, maybe done something with that ejector seat, experimented with that. Uh, I mean, it's a two-seater, so I mean, I thought it would be that difficult to integrate that. And maybe something with the, um, maybe like an upgrade in the customs, in the spoiler category or something, where you select it, and then this kind of stays up all the time, or I don't know, they could have done something. Um, and then I maybe mean, have it, like, activate as, like, a, have a hitbox to it, so that, you know, it's a shield. That would have been really cool. Now in real life, um, right before the release of a No Time to Die movie in 2021, um, Aston Martin actually made 25 DB5s um, from Goldfinger uh, that have all the gadgets that actually work. Now the guns that pop out of the indicator lights are, are fake, you know, we just kind of go back and forth and make a sound effect and stuff, but the smoke screen does work, and then the oil slick, it shoots water instead of oil. Um, and the shield actually does work, and it's made out of carbon Kevlar, so it actually does resist bullets. Um, and they didn't have the little radar inside. That thing is sick. You, you can look up videos on it on YouTube if you want to see that. They made 25 of them, and they sold them off for over $4 million, so <laughs> kind of wild. Um, but honestly, I would have gladly paid more money for this car in GTA Online if Rockstar added more gadgets to it, more features. Because in its current state, I mean... Honestly, I think you're better off just buying the regular JB700 and saving like a million dollars. A million dollars for some working guns and oil slick and mines, uh, you know, spikes is not really all that great to me. But um, anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed a little bit of a, a little bit of a rant here. Um, I'm just kind of disappointed that Rockstar didn't put so much effort into this. I'm sure a lot of you are as well, especially when you spend this much money on it um and it's not like this was like an old vehicle they introduced this i believe it was with the casino heist update and i mean they really could have put the effort into it if they wanted to but uh anyways guys thanks for watching hope you enjoyed and i'll see you in the next one